Hello everyone and welcome to the second video covering the 0.56 update. In this one we're looking at experimental again as this update is still on there and hasn't moved over to stable just yet and we're going to be covering things that we didn't get to in the first video and also some new things which have been added in the recent updates that have been done to experimental. So here we have the SVD. This was actually added in the first experimental release of the 5.6 update, uh, but I wasn't able to get my hands on it until now. So as you can see, the weapon looks very nice. It comes attached with the PSO scope on there by default, and you can remove it. Uh, the weapon actually uses the 762 by 54 mm round, which is also what the Mosin uses. And don't forget that in this update, and we did talk about this in the last video, uh, that ammo has a new texture. A 10 round magazine can also be found for the SVD, although it's not too common. There are two optics which can be attached to the SVD, the Kashtan C1 and the PSO1, which is a default optic uh, that is already on there. In this clip, we're actually looking through the PSO scope. I will be taking a shot and you will get to hear how the weapon sounds as well. So as you heard there, the SVD is really quiet and I think uh, that just makes it even more dangerous. Not only is it a quiet weapon, but it can also shoot with the PSO scope on it at a pretty good distance. Uh, so in the right hands, this weapon can be very dangerous. Moving on to other new weapons which have made it into the .56 update, we have the VSS Ventores. This is a suppressed sniper rifle that uses the new SP6 rounds. Uh, just like the SVD, you can attach the PSO1 and the Cash 10 C1 optics onto it, and I unfortunately was not able to find it. Uh, it is supposed to be a rare weapon, and hopefully when I do get my hands on it, you will see it in a future video. Another new weapon which has made it into the .56 update is the UMP45. This takes the .45 ACP rounds, and if you're lucky enough, you can find a 25 round magazine for it as well. Both of these weapons have been found in the .56 experimental in heli crash sites, so uh, they are rare, but they do spawn at the heli crash sites, so if you're lucky enough, you might be able to find one there. Now moving on to optics, the hunting scope is now spawning, and this is the scope that can be attached to the Blaze 95, Sporter 22, Winchester, and the CR527. The Longhorn scope can now be detached from the weapon as well. And now moving on to clothing, medical scrubs have been added. At the time of recording this, the pants texture was not working so you won't see those but everything else was. Uh, you can see there we have blue medical scrubs and they do also come in green. Winter hunting jackets have been added, and if you watched the previous 0.56 video, you know that these also come in summer and spring variants. Maps for certain cities around Trenaris have been added. This is the map of Zelenogorsk. There are also ones for Krasnostov and Berezino that have been found so far. Working radios have been added, and you can turn them on by using a battery. The next audio that you're about to hear is all in-game audio, and I was actually spooked out when I was running through the woods and ended up hearing someone listening to the radio. There is now also a new icon for locked doors. One of the log cabins in Chernaya Polona has been removed.
Alright everyone, so that's gonna do it for us for the second video on the 0.56 update. I'm probably going to do more videos on this one as more updates are still being released on Experimental and uh, more is being added to this 0.56 update. So you can look forward to those and don't forget if you missed the last one, uh, you do want to check that one out. That was a 13 minute video and we discussed a lot of the new content in this update. So uh, go back and see that one if you haven't seen it and thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.